everyone welcome to math or quiz this is subhashini vijay sagran a math teacher in this video i am going to explain the meaning of statistics the word statistics conveys a variety of meanings to people statistics are all around us is it's an integral part of our daily life for example every day we have to face up and deal with some form of statistical information through newspapers magazines websites and other form of communication based on the information we have seen either from the websites or from newspapers or from any sources we will make certain decisions so such type of statistical information has become highly influential in our daily life in fact it would be highly difficult to go through a full week without using statistics isn't it because without statistics we couldn't plan our budgets pay our taxes enjoy games to their fullest evaluate classroom performances etc in short it affects everybody and touches life at many point so the subject of statistic in itself has gained considerable importance in affecting the process of our thinking and decision making actually the subject of statistic is not a new discipline it is as old as the human society itself and it has a very long history the word statistic seems to have been derived either from the latin word status or from the italian word statista or from the german word statistic the meaning of all these three words like status statista and statistic is political state because in our ancient times the government has used statistic as a tool to collect only the information regarding the population and property of the country only for these two reasons alone the kings of our ancient times has used statistics but nowadays statistic is regarded as one of the most important tools in taking decisions in short that is an increased demand for statistic in the current century in fact an extensive statistical analysis has become necessary in many areas at both organizational and governmental levels and also some statistical familiarity is necessary at individual levels too so statistic occupies every sphere of human activity with this introduction let's now move on to the meaning of statistics statistic has been used both in singular and plural sense as a singular sense statistic means statistic as a scientific method as a plural sense statistic means statistic as a data here data means information in my next video i will explain data and its type in detail but now you just remember that data means information that is any information collected for any definite purpose under investigation is known as data so statistic in a plural sense means statistic as a data commonly known as statistical data let us come back to singular sense statistic as a singular sense means statistic as a scientific method that means a group of statistical methods that are used to collect organize present analyze and interpret data let me explain all these stages in detail here collection of data it's a first stage in statistic and it is the most important statistical inquiry in this stage we may collect the data from various sources based on the problem at our hand there are so many methods are available to collect the data 
the data may be collected by reading previous observations or by conducting interview or through questionnaire methods or we may use sensors or sampling techniques to collect the data once the data has to be collected the next stage is organize the collected data has to be organized into some systematic manner that is it has to be organized into a frequency table let me explain about this by taking a simple example for example i wish to collect the number of kids in a particular apartment for some investigation let me take the apartment has 10 houses but uh, the amount of data involved in statistic is usually large but for my simplicity i want to take only 10 the number of kids in the 10 families are 2 2 1 1 2 2 2 so totally we are having chain data once the data has to be collected it has to be organized into a frequency table for that let me first construct a frequency table with two columns whereas the first column represents number of kids and the second column represents number of families so number of kids in a data set is 0 1 and 2 so let me take it in it as an ascending order so i have tried 0 first 1 next and 2 last here zero appears only one time here zero appears only one time so i have to write one again zero and one appears 1 2 3 3 three times so i have to write 3 against 1 next two appears here two appears 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 times so i have tried six here that means there are there are no kids at only one family and there is only one kid in three families and there are two kids in six families and the total of all these values is nothing but 10 that means i have used all the collected data into a frequency table that is none of the data is missing in the next stage is presenting the organized data has to be presented in the form of chart diagram graph tables etc usually we have seen this type of presentation in newspapers magazines regularly and the next stage is analyze once the data has to be collected organized and presented it is very important to analyze the data there are so many statistical methods are available to analyze the data we may use any appropriate statistical methods like average standard deviation etc based on the requirement of our problem at the hand and the last stage is interpret this is the last stage in statistic in this stage we have to interpret data to find some conclusions and it is one of the most important sensitive and also most difficult stage that requires high degree of knowledge and skill with this introduction hope you got an idea about statistic as a singular sense 
let's again come back to the definition of statistic so statistic has been defined both in singular and in plural sense as a singular sense statistic means statistic as a scientific method and as a plural sense statistic means statistic as a data with this short introduction hope you got an idea about the meaning of statistics thanks for watching see you again in my next video